How long should it take to edit a podcast? Is it hours? Is it days? Now, what if I told you that you could get your episode edited within three minutes without having any editing skills? Sounds like a dream come true? Then let me show you how. Now, I'm guessing that you're here because you have just recorded a podcast episode, though editing is the pain of your existence. And trust me, I get it. When I first got started with YouTube, it actually took me an entire weekend just to get one just one YouTube video edited and it was driving me up the wall. It was eating up all of my time and it was simply not sustainable. If you can relate to this and if editing is the biggest bottleneck in your production process, let me show you how you can speed this up and get your podcast edited in under three minutes. Let's get going. To make this magic happen, we're going to use an amazing tool called Riverside, who are also the sponsors of this video. So step number one for you is to grab the link down in the description and open up Riverside. You can get started with the free plan as we go through the production process. And also in the future, you can use code Vendi15 to get 15% off all the paid plans once you see and learn how freaking amazing this tool is. So let's get started. Once you open up Riverside, this is exactly what you're going to see and you can either click get started to set up your free account or log in if you already have one. Once you're inside, you're going to see a dashboard similar to this and as you can already see, there are quite a few episodes I have recorded. Though, if you're brand new to Riverside, what I want you to do is to click this plus icon and set up a new studio like this, click create. And from here, if you have not in the past recorded videos in Riverside, what you can do is upload them by clicking on this upload recording button. So go ahead and upload a podcast episode you want to edit within Riverside. Now, step number two for you is to simply open up that episode. And what I'm going to do right now is go back to my main podcast studio and I'm going to open up the episode I did with Brenda. And so once you're here, you're going to see this beautiful tab over here, clicked full episode, generate episode. And once you click this, Riverside will automatically edit your episode and extract any pauses from it. So it's pretty much almost done and ready to go to be uploaded. As you saw, this was super quick. And all I have to do right now is click into it so we can start playing around with the tool. Now that we're inside, you can see the episode Ren and I recorded and all the incredibly simple features for editing your podcast incredibly fast. Now, before I walk you through these step by step, I want to mention that the playback of this video is going to be lower resolution. And when you actually export the full podcast episode in the upper right hand side corner, it's going to have the original resolution. Meaning I was actually shooting in 4K and Brenda was shooting in HD. And the resolution is more pixely here just to speed up the editing and also the playback speed. Though again, once you export a podcast, it's going to have the original dimensions that you recorded in. So let's have some fun and let's start playing around with these controls at the very top. The first thing you can see is that you can change dimensions of your podcast episode should you choose to. So you can make it square, you can make it vertical, though for a full length podcast episode, which is like one and a half hours, I definitely wanna keep it horizontal as it is. So that is the first thing we can do. The second thing, which is amazing, is that Riverside will automatically remove all the silences from your podcast episode. So you don't have to do this manually. This is already done for you. And the way you know is that when you look at your timeline here below, you can see these cuts, right? You can see these cuts in the track and they were created by removing these silences. So again, this was totally done for you. There was nothing for you to do, which is amazing. Step number three here that you can play around with is enabling or disabling tracks. So if for whatever reason you were shooting with multiple participants and there was one participant you wanted to completely take out, you wanna remove their video, remove their audio, you could just deselect them and they wouldn't be in a podcast. In this instance though, I definitely wanna keep myself and Randa on here. Now, here is the amazingly fun part, the layout. Personally, I typically love having myself and the guest visible on screen for the most part. So the side by side thing, I'm a big fan of, though there are other layout options that are also incredibly fun. Number one is this one. Basically, whenever Brenda is talking, she is in full screen and I'm here at the little corner and vice versa when I am talking, for example, I'm being very nice. I'm letting Brenda talk a lot. <laughs> But when I'm, I'm talking right now here, I'm going to show you, let me make sure this is muted. So I'm just gonna click play. When I start talking, I'm going to go into full screen myself. Oh, and I think this is a fragment we probably need to take out from the podcast episode because I was shutting the window. And I'm gonna show you how to do this. And maybe this is the perfect time to actually show you how to take out a fragment I don't want in there. So you see here, what we have on the left hand side is an entire transcript for your podcast, which again was automatically generated, incredibly simple. 
and the editing, if you ever need to take out anything in your podcast, you just want to locate that part in the text transcription and you want to delete it. For example, here I'm saying beautiful, love one second, maybe I didn't close the window, da da da, and the sound might be terrible. That is great. Uh, I'm going to pick up the question. Okay, literally this, this whole part, I think I need to take out, right? This whole part I'm selecting, I'm going to click remove because I'm like, this. I don't need this in here, right? This is not what I needed. And then in the track, if I click play, I want to make sure and I want to show you how this might be looking. Let me just zoom in. You see now I zoomed in the track and this part went gray. This is the part we removed. And again, you could click play and you could double check and make sure that it flows really nicely from one part to the other. Though this is how incredibly easy it is to delete any parts in a podcast you don't wanna use. So typically, if I scroll to the very beginning of the podcast, you see, whenever you welcome your guests on a podcast, it's not particularly exciting for your listeners to have that part because they just wanna go right into the meat and bones of your podcast episode. So these days, what I do is I will typically still start the show by saying welcome, but I will edit that part out. So here, whenever I'm saying welcome, welcome, um, I can't wait for this conversation, I actually wanna always start my podcast with a hook. It's the best way to start a podcast, meaning I ask a question and Brenda answers it. So it looks like this is where I'm starting a question. So what exactly is functional nutrition? This will literally be the beginning of the episode. Everything else I wanna select, okay? I'm selecting and I'm like, I want to remove this. I don't want that to be a part of the podcast. And again, if I go back to the track, if you pay attention here, everything here got grayed out because I like deselected it, okay? That's how nice it is. And I believe this should be back here. And again, you see how simple it is. If you wanna ever put something back, you can either drag it at the bottom or for whatever reason, I'm like, no, I want this back. You could click revert, right? And it reverted that one word or I can select the whole thing and revert it as well. Though in this case, I'm like, I definitely wanna remove it. So that is how simple editing is. And this is why it literally takes you seconds, maybe a couple of minutes, because you're just like removing the beginning and typically maybe the very end of the podcast where you're like, bye, bye, bye. And obviously anything in the middle that we messed up, like in this instance, I had to close the window because I had forgotten to do that from the beginning. Though I want to draw our attention back at the top of the controls here. So let's click into it again. And I want to show you some other options. So another option would be that automatically whenever Brenda is speaking, she's on screen. And whenever I am speaking, I would be on screen. Let me click play again. Okay. Though so again, I, and this might be a personal preference. I kind of prefer having either the side by side or the guest being at least somewhere in the corner. Now, if you do like the side by side layout, you can also introduce gaps here, which by default are black that, you know, black is black is black. <laughs> you probably don't want black. So then you can actually change the color for those gaps by going to background and uploading your own brand colors or by default, if you just wanna see how this looks, I could just pick this one. You can see it changed the color here. And really quickly, if I go back to layout again, if, if I select this layout, now I'm here, Brenda's here, and we have this gap here. Again, for some of you, you might prefer this design. I really like this one or that one. So those are my two very big preferences. Then the amazing thing you probably already noticed is that we have subtitles at the top of our episode, which is incredible because Riverside automatically transcribed your entire episode, allowing you for a super simple edit and it automatically added subtitles on it should you choose to have subtitles on the entire episode. So if we click on this little caption icon, you can see that you can play around with how these are looking. Do you want a black background, white one? You could change the font here as well, the, the style. You can make these smaller, you can make these larger, like there's so much to do. And then also colors, so brand colors. You can copy and paste your brand color here. If you're like, I wanna change the white to be yellow, anything you wanna play around with. Again, I'm a big fan of captions. Now, personally, I'm not gonna have captions on my full episode, but I will definitely, definitely add subtitles on the short form clips from the podcast. And by the way, if you wanna learn more about how to extract clips from your podcast episode using Riverside, I'm gonna link a video to that above here in the cards. Because again, when it comes to short form clips, like 30, 60, 90 second clips, you absolutely wanna have subtitles. And I love how easy Riverside is making that. Though, back to our main episode, in this instance, I'm gonna choose not to have captions, so I'm removing them. 
And if you wanted to, you could click here to upload your logo as well. You can just drag and drop anywhere. So let me actually quickly do this with you. I could go to example, I could go to logo. Okay, and here's my logo, here it is. And I might choose to place it somewhere here, okay? So editing is that simple. Now, in this instance, I was walking you through many of these things. So as you can imagine, when you know exactly what you're doing, this is taking seconds. And there's another amazing editing feature I wanna show you on Riverside. So if we go back to our podcast, I wanted to show you how easy it is for you to change any words that might be misspelled. So for example, if I'm looking here, I'm saying something that happened to me when I was six, it's, it's assuming I think that this is height, right? I almost wanna play this, so let's quickly play this together. So I'm gonna increase the sound so we can hear this. Let's see. I was six to eight, but was when? I'm, in, I'm 29 now, like what, what do you mean? Like how is... Okay, so if I want to change this, um, basically Brenda was talking about digestion coming from our childhood in a way, because the way you process your emotions as a kid affects your digestion now, which is kind of a crazy thing. Crazy concept, but it's very real. So over here, if I wanna say six, eight, 12, I'm just gonna select this entire thing, okay? So if I can select this entire thing, correct, and I'm saying six comma eight comma 12, maybe dot, dot, dot. And I clicked, you could click enter to take a box or I click enter to change that. Now, the only reason you would ever be changing the transcript is if you have the subtitles enabled. Because of course, if you do have subtitles on, you kind of want them to be correct, right? You don't want it to be, um, do you want anything to be misspelled there? Though, if you're not using subtitles, you don't have to worry about these corrections. One more thing I really quickly wanted to show you is that you can actually bulk correct things. For example, Let's just assume that emotions, I wanted emotions to always start with all caps. I mean, I typically don't, but you know, let's assume that that's the case. And you can already see that I can either just correct this word or correct all. So wherever in the podcast we said emotions is gonna be corrected if I select correct all. So you see, I saw that happen here as well. And it's so, so simple to do any editing that is required for your subtitles using Riverside Transcript. Now, I know that there is a lot we already covered under step number three of how to edit your podcast, though I want to show you one more incredible thing. If we quickly go back to our timeline over here, okay? If you choose to, you can actually add a intro or outro for your podcast. Now, to this day, I actually don't have intros or outros recorded, though if you do have these, you're just gonna click the plus icon and they're gonna be added at the beginning. And then if you just scroll, you use a timeline, we scroll at the very end, click the plus, which is actually always there. You click that plus and you can add the outro as well. So editing your podcast is that simple. And an important step, step number four, would be to go ahead and export your podcast, which also is gonna allow for a couple of more controls. First of all, as I mentioned, I want the original video quality, which was 4K, so we changed that. Secondly, you wanna enable normalized audio levels. And what this basically means is that if for whatever reason, Brenda was much closer to the mic than I was, or audio levels would just not be even, which would kind of be annoying for the listener, right? And even for ourselves. So if you just toggle this button, it's going to normalize the audio levels for both speakers, which is incredibly nice. You can also toggle this to remove the background noise. Again, there's no editing you need to do. You don't need to be an editor to know how to do this. You just turn on toggle and you can remove the watermark and all you're gonna do is click export and your video is going to be done, it's going to be exported within Riverside. So let's just go ahead and click that button. And again, you're, as you can see, you're gonna get an email as soon as this gets exported and typically we're going to see this. I'm gonna go back to the recording page. This is where it says exporting and within a couple of minutes, this would change and go to be exported. Now you can see that you can absolutely get your podcast episode edited within three minutes. And if you're still here with me, I actually wanna show you a bonus tip. So step number five for us would be to create short form clips from your podcast within seconds. And if you're curious to see how this happens, let me walk you through it right now. When you return back to your dashboard, there's another amazing feature called Magic Clips. And if I click this, it will automatically extract the best short form clips from your podcast episode without you having to lift a finger. Again, this happens automatically using AI, and then all you're gonna have to do is slightly play around with it, change the subtitles a bit should you choose to, and you can upload it across social media, which is incredible. So let's just give this a couple of minutes, and I wanna show you how many clips you're gonna be able to get just from one full podcast episode. 
we are back and you can see that Riverside automatically extracted 15 different clips from your episode. I can actually click here, show all, and these are all the clips, including our entire episode. And if you want to learn more about how to fully optimize your short form clips for social media, I'm going to link to that video up in the cards again, so you can dive into that video where I fully show you and walk you through how to flush out these shorts using Riverside and then go ahead and publish them on LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube, which is exactly where I'm publishing them myself. Now, if you haven't already, you definitely want to grab the Riverside link from the description below. Use the code VENDI15 to get 15% off all the paid plans and start playing around with this wonderful and magical tool. If you have a podcast or you're thinking about starting one, Riverside is truly a wonderful tool in the entire production process. I personally use it to record all my remote interviews and I cannot recommend them highly enough. So again, if you haven't already, click the link down in the description, get started with Riverside and let me know how it goes. If you found this video helpful, could you please, please do me a massive favor and hit that subscribe button down below. We're on our way to reach 100K subscribers on YouTube by the end of 2024, and I could definitely appreciate and would value your help with this. Now, if you have any other questions for me when it comes to Riverside, video editing or podcasting, drop them in the comments below, and I would be delighted to record new videos just for you, walking you through any of the roadblocks you're currently experiencing in your podcasting journey. Again, thank you so, so much for being here, and I'm gonna catch you in the next video.